Phase Contrast Magnetic Resonance Imaging PCMRI, is a specific type of magnetic resonance imaging used primarily to determine flow velocities. PCMRI can be considered a method of magnetic resonance velocimetry. It also provides a method of magnetic resonance angiography. Since modern PCMRI is typically time-resolved, it provides a means of 4D imaging, 3 spatial dimensions plus time. How it works Atoms with an odd number of protons or neutrons have a randomly aligned angular spin momentum. When placed in a strong magnetic field, some of these spins align with the axis of the external field, which causes a net longitudinal magnetization. These spins press s about the axis of the external field at a frequency proportional to the strength of that field. Then, energy is added to the system through a radio frequency, RF, pulse to excite the spins, changing the axis that the spins press s about. These spins can then be observed by receiver coils, radio frequency coils, using Faraday's law of induction. Different tissues respond to the added energy in different ways, and imaging parameters can be adjusted to highlight desired tissues. Retrospective cardiac and respiratory gating For medical imaging, in order to get highly resolved scans in 3D space and time without motion artifacts from the heart or lungs, retrospective cardiac gating and respiratory compensation are employed. Beginning with cardiac gating, the patient's ECG signal is recorded throughout the imaging process. Similarly, the patient's respiratory patterns can be tracked throughout the scan. After the scan, the continuously collected data in K-space, temporary image space, can be assigned accordingly to match up with the timing of the heartbeat and lung motion of the patient. This means that these scans are cardiac averaged so the measured blood velocities are an average over multiple cardiac cycles. Applications Phase contrast MRI is one of the main techniques for magnetic resonance angiography, MRA. This is used to generate images of arteries, and less commonly veins, in order to evaluate them for stenosis, abnormal narrowing, occlusions, aneurysms vessel wall dilatations, at risk of rupture, or other abnormalities. MRA is often used to evaluate the arteries of the neck and brain, the thoracic and abdominal aorta, the renal arteries, and the legs, the latter exam is often referred to as a runoff. Limitations In particular, a few limitations of PCMRI are of importance for the measured velocities. Partial volume effects, when a voxel contains the boundary between static and moving materials, can overestimate phase leading to inaccurate velocities at the interface between materials or tissues. Intravoxel phase dispersion, when velocities within a pixel are heterogeneous or in areas of turbulent flow, can produce a resultant phase that does not resolve the flow features accurately. Assuming that acceleration and higher orders of motion are negligible can be inaccurate depending on the flow field. Displacement artifacts, also known as misregistration and oblique flow artifacts, occur when there is a time difference between the phase and frequency encoding. These artifacts are highest when the flow direction is within the slice plane, most prominent in the heart and aorta for biological flows. Vastly undersampled isotropic projection reconstruction, VIPR. A vastly undersampled isotropic projection reconstruction, VIPR, is a radially acquired MRI sequence which results in high resolution MRA with significantly reduced scan times, and without the need for breath holding. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.